Hello friends, welcome to another Hardcore Bob plugin tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the plugin that everyone uses but no one understands, Standard Clip by Sir Audio Tools. I chose today's song for its very apt title, I Want to Know What It Means, by the very soulful child prodigy Disney star, DJ Trap Stamp. Let's take a listen. I wanna know what it means, I wanna know what it means. Now folks, with no intention of boasting, I've had the privilege of working with some of the finest producers in all the land, and I'm here to report that this little plugin right here has popped up on most of their computer screens. Now if you were to ask them why, most of them would tell you, I have no idea, but it just works like a million bucks. And folks, that's as good a reason as any to use anything. But this video is for those of you who seek to understand a little bit more about what's going on under the surface. Now it's important to understand that standard clip can be used in two ways. As a volume tool, that is to simply increase the volume of something, or as a harmonic generator, that is adding extra harmonics to a signal and changing its sound stylistically. Of course, most people use this plugin to achieve both. Okay, so let's talk about volume. More specifically, let's talk about this term called clipping. Now there are many plugins out there that do clipping, but if you ask me, standard clip is the best at it. Okay, so clipping is what happens when there's too much volume for a system to handle. What do I mean by that? Let's imagine we have a one gallon bucket, which means that bucket is only capable of holding one gallon of water. But Bob, you say, my family is so very thirsty and I have 1.5 gallons of water here that I'd like to fit in this one gallon bucket of water. Now folks, while doing such a thing might be difficult with water, it's actually quite simple with sound. So in this metaphor, volume is water and the volume meter is the bucket. So I will use these terms interchangeably going forward. Okay, so what happens when you try to fit 1.5 gallons into a one gallon bucket? Well, when it comes to sound, because your system can't contain that extra half gallon of volume, it will basically make up what it thinks that extra volume might sound like. And in most cases, it doesn't do a very good job. That made up sound is often not accurate or distorted. And that's exactly why we call it distortion or overdrive. Okay, so what does standard clip do? Well, the quick answer is it allows you to make something louder in your mix without actually making it louder. That is, without having it lose its quality or character as it might if you just turned it up normally. Now it does that by doing something absolutely magical called over sampling, which you can see here. When you set this number here to something high like 32, it's essentially taking that original source sound, capturing it in high resolution, and using that high quality information to make up that extra volume. So as you can see, these drums here are currently not peaking. In other words, they are less than one gallon of volume. So they fit nicely in our one gallon bucket. And you know that because the tips of these white spikes here aren't reaching that line up here, which is the top of our bucket. Now watch what happens when I lower this clip fader here. At around minus seven or minus eight, it starts to clip the peaks, which you can see in red. Now because it's so high quality, you can't really hear any of that ugly distortion happening. Now, because it's so high quality, you can't really hear any of that ugly distortion happening. Of course, it's not that no distortion is happening, right? If you go all the way down, you'll inevitably stress out what the algorithm is capable of, and you'll hear that distortion. Now I quite like that right there for my taste. But if you just clip the tip, you'll find it does just a standout job. Now to prove it, I've created a duplicate track of these drums without standard clip to compare. Now, if you close your eyes, you probably can't hear the difference between the two. But if you open your eyes, you'll see that the clip track is actually significantly quieter than the unaffected track. The unaffected track is hanging out around minus 6.2 decibels, while the track with standard clip on it is actually at minus 9.5 decibels of volume. What that means is, 
the track with standard clip on it has a lot more headroom before it fills that one gallon bucket, which means now you can raise the volume of these drums without spilling over the bucket. So let's do just that. You can actually raise the output volume right here in standard clip. All right, so here's the clipped version. And that's the not clipped version. So as you can hear, the clipped version sounds a good deal louder. But in fact, it's now the same volume as the unaffected drums and has not lost any real noticeable quality. And you know that because you can see that both volumes showing here are about the same. So now the senses do a sort of switcheroo. Now, if you only see the tracks, you can't tell the difference. But when you hear the tracks, there's a clear difference. Well, folks, don't think for a moment that I'm not a fan of distortion. Uh, if you've seen my other tutorials, you should know I do like distortion. So standard clip can also be used to add extra harmonics to your sound. And you can do that by raising this saturation slider right here. Now these modes here give you extra variation or algorithms on those harmonics. Of course, if you choose hard clip, that actually means you want just the clipping with no saturation, which makes that slider go away. Now the ceiling, which you can engage by clicking right here, you probably only want this on when you put standard clip as the final plugin on your master chain so that you can make sure your track isn't going above that ceiling. My friends, if you were to ask most producers, I'm sure they'd agree with me when I say that standard clip is one of my top five favorite plugins to put on everything. So let's do just that and put it on our master chain. And we'll give it just a touch of that saturation and bucket filling that it does so well. Are you looking at me now? Give it a little bit more gain. Bring that clip down a little bit. A little bit more gain. And a little bit more output gain here. <clears throat> Very good. All right, so there you have it, folks, a quiet song with all of its tenderness preserved. Now, I invite you to go out there and make something that makes you a little bit uncomfortable today. And remember, if it scares you, just turn it up. I'm Hardcore Bob, and thanks for watching.